Hi, welcome to SPR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 12 in the NFL, and we are talking, as always, with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com, who covers uh, every Thursday game with us to kick off the week. And this week, he's going to cover KC at Oakland. Interesting game. We'll see if uh, Joe has an edge for us. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us. Thank you, Mr. Loshak. Well, Joe, uh, KC and Oakland is the game we're going to cover here. Before we get to it, just we're in the heart of the football season. Tell everyone what uh, the deal is at uh, OffshoreInsiders.com right now. Sweep. Yeah, folks, we, we were definitely in a slump that, that that happens. It was a little longer and worse than uh, most we've had in 27 years, but we've come out of it. We've had seven of nine wise wow. guy plays in football, three and zero sweep in the NFL with wise guy Damn. plays on Sunday. So uh, yeah, we are back and as good as ever. There you go. All right. Well, let's see what you can tell us about uh, KC and Oakland. You know, this is a uh, interesting handicapping situation. Here we are, short week Thursday game, and Oakland, of course, uh, you know they were off their low scoring loss, San Diego, still winless. But even though they're 0 in town, they're now five and five against the spread. So they're not horrible against the spread. They're not one of these good bets that you want to make, but they're definitely not an automatic fade despite the fact they're winless. And KC got another cover, and that one did kind of, you know, maybe could have gone either way, went down to the wire, but they got it done again. They're now 8-2 and two against the spread overall on the year, which, as we know, is just an awesome uh, record in the NFL. So here we go on a short week. Right now, Oakland's a 7-point home underdog. That's up a bit from the opener of 6.5, and, and the total is uh, 43, 42 and a half, or 42. The t total is going down at all places at different rates, and that's down from a total of... Uh, from the, from the opener of 43 and a half, and we can understand why that would be, right? Oakland's coming off a low-scoring game against San Diego, and Casey had five straight unders after getting an over in their last game that went over by just a half point. So when I looked at this one, I like the under at a 43 and a half, like it a lot less right now than, than at, at 43, but I think I still like it. And for the spread, I think Oakland plus seven is the side here. I know how much they suck, and I know how awesome KC is, though. What's your take on this game, Joe? Yeah, no, but but that's uh, part of the thing. You've got to, you know, I wrote an article years ago and did a video that's called It's Good to Pick Bad, and that means that sometimes, you know, bad teams in, in, in a lot of situations are very good. Now, if this isn't a sandwich game, then there really is no such thing as a sandwich game. Uh, Kansas City... They're after just beating Seattle. Now, next week, they're going to be playing Denver. So it's the smacks in between the two teams that were in the Super Bowl last year. And, of course, a perfect chance for a letdown on a short week. Also, very consistent with what I said because, you know, I'm not one of these guys. I'm critical of people that they make these statements. And then if you kind of look them up, they're not always true. But when you have a team with an eight-game losing streak, they're 154 and 106 against the spread. And if you're talking about a winless team with a an, at least an eight-game losing streak, 114 and 70 against the spread, that's 62%. And it's got a Z-score of 3.23. And Oakland, you know, they're pretty much – a defensive dog. Their defensive statistics are very impressive, especially against the run. What is even more impressive is how good the stats are, considering how often their defense has been on the field. Now, again, playing devil's advocate, that their defense has spent a little bit too much time on the field, and they would be maybe the unit you would expect that could be a little bit tired on the short week, but still, all in all, Getting a lot of points, uh, I think that Oakland is the play here. Yeah, and the other thing about Oakland is that just based on, you know, what you're sort of like seeing on the field and reading in their team reports is that uh, they are reportedly, supposedly still fighting, still playing hard, still trying to get something done. You know, they're shaking up their running game a little bit, which was one of their major weak spots uh, all year long. And uh, so that's just a sign. What do you think about the under? It was 43 and a half. Now yeah. it's uh, down 43, 42 and a half or 42 market wide. And you have to assume that Casey just wants to get out of this game as fast as possible. Oakland wants to shorten it to a try to get a win here. You think the under still might have some value at 43? Yeah, no, and, and what you were saying, that remember that a lot of people think that if one team's uh, offense gets worse than automatically, that kind of means it's good for the under, or if they get better, it's good for the over. Not necessarily, and, and look, I think you, you said about the running game, I, I agree. It looks like Latavius Murray's probably going to get some more carries for Oakland this week, and really, if Oakland can get a little bit better offense and keep their defense on the field, that's really better for the mm -hmm. under. So yes, again, what I am saying is if this their offense gets better, that means the game is more likely to go under the total, which for some people might sound counterintuitive, but no, I, I think that, uh, yeah, Kansas City would be happy to escape, and Oakland, they either lose ugly or they win ugly, but they, they don't engage in too many shootouts, so even with the low total, I'd, I'd have to probably agree with you. All right, we're in agreement here, Joe Dovey, so for the purpose of this video, you're taking Oakland plus seven, and you want the under 43 or not? No, we'll take Oakland plus Just seven. Open. I still want to do a little bit more research. Right. Okay, thanks so much, Joe. Awesome insights, as always.
The SBR network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.